What if your dog never came back during fetch? When your browser needs to grab resources, it sends a request to a server. This request is called an HTTP request. The server always responds, whether with the data you asked for or an error. Kind of like your dog showing up empty mouthed, but tail still wagging. You throw it, they bring it back. HTTP request, HTTP response. This back and forth wasn't always as simple as tossing a tennis ball. Syntax was complicated, and even using a library like jQuery still kind of stunk. Oh, well, this is just perfect. Ugh. Enter the Fetch API. It cleaned up the confusing syntax of older methods like XML HTTP request. Woof, say that five times fast. It also made it a heck of a lot easier to handle asynchronous requests, whether through classic promise chaining with dot then or the cleaner async await syntax. And if all of that sounded like we were speaking dog, it won't by the time you're done reading this article because we're gonna W-A-L-K you through it. Walk?